Kumlana Black Gemara. This is Sunday's Gemara. Of Tzadig Vov, and we're up to Tzadig Vov. Amaral is very bound on the page by the two dots. It might be learned. Hamoiche, so we're talking about wine that goes off based on our mission. Hamoiche Chavaz Yana Chavere. A guy sells wine to his friend. And the Hechmitza. And it became sour. It turned sour. And we'll soon see in whose vessels were they, in the buyer's vessels or in the seller's vessels. The bottom line became sour. The buyer said, I want my money back. You gave me poor quality wine. But we didn't realize it until the, the, the buyer came home and a day or two later, he opened it up. Omar Rav, Rav said the following. Call Gimel Yom Yerushayim. If the first three days after you purchased the wine, if the first three days after you purchased the wine, it became, if within those three days, it was sour, then Bishus Moichah. Definitely it was already bad in the in the domain of the Moichah. Rav Tzadik Vav Amaral, the very bottom of the page. Mikan ve'elich Bishus Lakech. But from here onwards is the Rishus Lakech. Anything beyond three days, we say it happened by the buyer and the buyer is, the, is responsible. It's too bad. It's his fault. Nothing to do. You cannot go to the vendor and reclaim your money. And the reason is it takes three days for um to you know to realize it takes three days to be, for the wine to become contrab. It takes three days for the wine to become to go off. And if it became it went off within the three days, then obviously it was already going off while it was still in the rishus of the Meicher of the seller. And therefore, it's the Meicher sold you a dud, the DOA, then an arrival. Shmuel says no. Shmuel says, Khamra Akaspa de Mori Shavar. Shmuel says, we say that the wine actually, even within, normally takes three days for the wine to go off, but over here, maybe a day and a half later, it went off because of the care. Why? Because on the shoulder of the buyer, it happened, it jumped off. What do you mean? The, the way that Ashbam learns is, we'll say as a punishment sometimes is that the person's wines go off. So the seller says to the buyer, Mazal Chagarim, it's, it's your problem. You're the one who... Um, Caused it to go off. You're bad mazel. And Tyson learns nothing to do with bad mazel. It's when you shake the wine around while you're carrying it on your shoulders, that might have caused the, the wine to get ruined. You accelerated the process. Maybe it started going off after the Michael sold to you. It normally takes three days to, to finally the wine transforms. But you shook it so much when you were carrying it on your shoulders that that is what caused the wine to be ruined within a short period of time. Oh, but Rabbi Yisuf, the Kavasa, the Rav, the Shikra, Rabbi Yisuf, however, once when it came to beer, he followed Rav that you know the first three days it, it took place in the Meichel possession. Oh, the Kavasa, the Shmuel, the Chamro. When it came to wine, he followed Shmuel because by wine we say Mazal. Where Rashbam learns Mazal Chagarim. It's your fault. It's your bad Mazal. You're being punished for some avera you did. The leave me out of it. The Hilchas of Kavasa, the Shmuel, the Lachel, the Shmuel, that even that once it's in the Lekach's possession. Even less than three days, we say to the it's your tough luck. Says the Gemara, Torah, Mami learned. Echa Cheche Tamari, whether it's the beer of dates, the Echa Cheche, sorry, like this juice of dates, or Echa Cheche, sorry, the juice of barley, the Echa Chmari, Yayin, or whether it's the sediment of wine left over, grapes, the lees, is, and all of these, Mavarchem Aleim Shahakal Niebedvari. And all of these, you make a Bracha Shahakal, you don't know, but you don't make Bar Priyat. You make Bar Priyat only when it's it's better than the, you know, it's equal to the original fruit or it's better the juice that comes out of it. Otherwise, it's just perspiration and you make a Shahakal. And we say that this this juice that came out of here, or this beer, is such a poor quality that uh, you only make a Shahakal <clears throat> compared to the original. <clears throat> um, Traces actually brings you an interesting argument regarding honey that comes out of dates. Whether you make a shahakal on it, which is what we do, or actually her eights, because um, some paskin paskin, you make her eights, because the honey that comes out of a date is good quality. So the Gemara um, or premium quality. Anyway, Achedim, I mean, the Achedim, they disagree. Achedim generally is Ramnasan. They disagree. We'll learn the end of Harius why he's called Achedim. I'm sorry, Achedim is Rameir usually. And um, and why one of the reasons why he's called a cherem that we'll learn the whole story then and the hilarious. But one of the reasons called a cherem is that every time Rameya said something in the name of his teacher Elisha ben Avu, who was nicknamed Acher, they call him a cherem. As Tzitzis said earlier, on. a cherem say shmorim that these shmorim these you know, these grapes uh, these are less leftover res residual grapes leaves or sediment she yesh behem tam yain. 
if there's a taste of wine and the flavor of wine and there's water, actually make a bite pre hagafen. We have an argument. If shmarim, you make a bird pre hagafen, you make a shahakum. Rabbi Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Yisrael, say, "Ain halach achein, halach nak achein." You make a you bought, you make a shak. Amar is a rabbi like this. Now he explains it. We're talking about the water that you know you you immerse these grapes there in the water, and now the water takes on perhaps the flavor of the wine. So he rubs like this. Kuli am, everyone agrees. Rama tlosa va'asa arba. You put in three cups of water in this in jug that had these leaves there on the bottom, and you took out of there four cups of water. Where's that extra cup of water coming from? Obviously, that's wine. That's the juice that slept over the grapes, still very juicy. And therefore, you have a ratio of one to four. And that is a bayer priyadaf. Chamruhu, it's wine. Because Rabba Tamei, Rabba is consistent with the view that he had. We learned on a few occasions. Rabba Rabba called Chamre. In those days, the wines were very, very strong. So any wine, like Dori al Khatlas, Maya, if you don't make dilute it, a ratio of three cups of water to one cup of wine, Lav Chamri. It's not wine. You can't drink it. It's not enjoyable. So therefore, if you have, if you put in three cups of water and you draw out four cups, the fourth cup is wine. That's mamish wine. Then everyone agree you do make a berry prayer often, even though what you use was the re the residual grapes. That was pressed and everything. Um, what about now? Rava continues. Rama tlasa va'asa tlasa. You put in three cups of water and you took out three cups of water. It doesn't matter. It has a little bit of flavor of wine. That's nothing. It's negligible. But like Klumu, everyone agrees it's shahak. You know what the argument between the Chachamim and Achelim is? Keep pligi. The Rama Tlasa, you put in three cups, but the Asa Tlasa Palgir, what you drew out was three and a half cups. Now, so what's the, now, according to Rabbana, simple. Well, three cups of water came out and only a half a cup of wine. That's a ratio of one to six. That's a negligible amount. It's a dilution that doesn't require a bracha bar It's a shahak. That's the Rabban. Easy enough. The Rabban is sorry. Plus a ayil. You put in three cups. You took out three cups. Plus a, uh, you put in three cups. Plus a nothing. You took out three cups. And you have remainder. Poshle palga. An extra half a cup, which is the wine. U palga b'shisa palga mayev leklumu. A half a cup. In um, in uh, in six. In uh, what do you call it? One half a cup. In six half a cup. Numbers. A half to uh, to three is is leklumu. It's negligible. What are that chayim hold? They say that these lees actually absorbed some of the water and it was replaced with the wine that came out. So they argue that you put in three cups of water and out came three and a half cups. You have that extra half a cup of wine, but half of cup of those three cups is actually wine. What happened to the half a cup of water? It got absorbed in the shmarin. So one cup to two and a half cups is already a serious amount. And you make very very often. The chen is of it plus oil, three cups you put in. Three no palga nothing. You took two and a half cups out. Posh le kuza is one full cup left. The kuza ben three palga chamer mal yeh, and one cup and two and a half is considered a significant amount. Okay, so the gemara of yosim but they midasa and miplegi. So you're telling me that it came out. You're telling me now that even though I put in three cups, I took out three and a half. Rava says that's the argument between the rabbanon and acherim. How do, is it only limited to a half a cup and therefore it's negligible? Or do we say perhaps a half a cup of water disappeared and got absorbed and therefore it's a one cup of wine to two and a half cups of water? Says the Gemara, um, you're telling me that even though it's more, I put in three and I got three and a half. That's when they're arguing. But now let me ask you a question. We learned how made if somebody gets ahead soaks water onto these, you know, pours water onto these leaves and it should sit there and absorb the wine coming out of the leaves. We're talking about whether you hide in mice or not. The Nelson Mayim Bemida. If you put in water in a certain amount, you put in water, let's say three cups of water there, and you pulled out three cups of water, then obviously there's no wine there. Pata, you're a pata from mice. I'm wine. You have to give mice wine. There's no wine here. There's only water. But Abu Huda says, Chayim, no, you have to give mice. What's going on here? I can leave. When do they argue El Bechdemi Dasak? They're only arguing if you put an exact amount of water and out came out three cups, whether, you know, Abuda says some of that is wine that came out of the Shmarim, and you have to give Maisa home and say, no, three cups of water in, three cups of water out, even though some of it might be wine, it's negligible amount. It would seem from here that everyone agrees. They're only arguing if it's exactly three cups of water put in and three cups taken out. But it seems that everybody agrees if you put in three cups of water and you drew out three and a half cups, Everyone agree that there's sufficient wine here for mice, so there's sufficient wine here also for a bar priyagafen. Le pligi. That's what it would seem. 
Question on Rabbi. He said that the whole argument revolves around the case where you put in three cups of water, you grew out three and a half. Said so he learned no. Who had deemed the truth be told? I feel the age of the Nazi Pligi. That even three, three and a half cups, they're still arguing. Rabbi, the whole three and a half cups, the only half a cup of wine is negligible. And Rabbi Yudah says, no, that half a cup plus add a half a cup of wine that replaced the water, and therefore it's it's wine. I, the highly community, be named us. It's why they argue a case of three cups. Tells the big Kiddush, even three and a half cups, the Rabbana say it's only sha you don't give miser, it's only shako. You know why? To tell you how far Rabbi Yehuda goes, you know that even if it's exactly three cups of water you put in and exactly three cups of water came out, I want you to know that a half a cup of water got absorbed in the Shmarim and a half a cup was replaced by wine and therefore you have to give Maisa. The Mark concludes with two more lines. Boy, may I not miss the Rabbi because he didn't hear about this price, so he didn't hear about the argument of the Chachamim and, and Rachelim. So he asked, What about Shmari? You put water there now, it tastes like wine. What would it be? On Malay, he said back to him, Me, Sovet Chamro, do you think that's wine? Kiyua Ba'almu, which just acid is just, it's not wine, it's just water with a, with a flavor, flavored water. And therefore, you only make a Shahakal. In other words, the Halach is like the Chachamim. Okay, we'll stop over here. See you next time. Have a good work and a good good and a good good bench. All uh, all those I won't see you till Rosh Hashanah. Okay, be well.